Hello again, I'm Joe Dawes. And I'm Michelle Sherwood. Thanks for joining us. Dozens of babies are going under the knife in the Ozarks for skull surgery. That's right, and that surgery can fix a condition that happens when a baby's skull prematurely fuses together. It happens once in every 1,500 births. KSBR's Emily Ribbon explains why doctors say the surgery can change lives. When a baby's skull is prematurely fused together, the point often called the soft spot, infants' brains still find a way to continue to grow. That causes the baby's head to form abnormally, often in the shape of a football. That's some story. <laughs> Four-and-a-half-month-old Alex Seagraves already has quite the story to tell. He's one of dozens of Ozarks babies undergoing skull surgery. About a month and a half after he was born, it was still long, and I'd taken him back to the pediatrician. Alex was diagnosed with craniosynostosis, which means his soft spot on his head prematurely fused together. When this happens, brain growth forces the skull to grow abnormally. Child develops uh, something called frontal bossing, where the front of the skull is really bulged out and the back of the skull is narrow and spiky looking. If babies have more than one prematurely fused soft spot, problems can be more than cosmetic. Can lead to increased intracranial pressure, can lead to seizures, and can lead, uh, lead to severe developmental delay. Two St. John's doctors don't delay surgery. Ideally, they like to operate within the first five to six months of a child's life. First, they remove the abnormal bone, then remodel the skull. Like sculpture or carving. And then the bone parts are put back together using absorbable plates and screws. And these are used by uh, a tiny ultrasonic uh, screwdriver. After 10 months, all that dissolves, leaving no permanent hardware. The two doctors have made it their mission to perform surgery on as many infants with congenital skull deformities as possible. Regardless of their ability to pay, insurance, uh, Medicaid, uninsured, we're just going to do it for them. Like a little football player. The Seagraves football player will wear this helmet for about six months. The one I'm growing up, you know, being made fun of or... We want them to have a normal life. But when doing it young, you won't have any memories of it or any pain. After the helmet comes off, his parents will have to tell him the story of his first surgery. Diagnosing and treating this condition early is critical because it gets more risky as the brain grows. Signs are usually visible but can be confirmed through CAT scans and 3D images. So far, the doctors have performed 30 of these surgeries here in Springfield. Before the team started, families would have to travel to St. Louis or Kansas City to receive this surgery. Covering Springfield, Emily Rittman, KSPR News.